Oh man, here we go, man. We got Philadelphia's most hated back in the building. Pilar, how you doing? Hey yo. <laughs> I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good, man. How you been? I've been good. Besides the bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year, man. I, I see I see your year popped off something different this year. Okay, already with some nuts. <laughs> you know, and, and before we get to that, um, you know, we did an interview a month ago. We did very, very well. Um, it did like 333,000 in one I month. I didn't expect it to do that. Um, a lot of people were pissed at me. They you were. Know, they, yeah. You know, in Philly, you know, even my the Say Cheese fan base, they were asking me, why? Why why are you interviewing her? Why are you giving her a platform? <laughs> why are you giving her the courage to set up more people? Exactly. They crazy. They're fucking And crazy. then they thought... And then they thought a lot of things you weren't saying, well, a lot of things you were saying weren't genuine because you were wearing glasses. They didn't, they, they couldn't see your eyes. <laughs> and I got them one again. <laughs> you, you don't want to take them off this interview? I can take them off. There we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> don't play with it. I had that. <laughs> because, cause you know, people, people feel like. You know, us as humans, when we lie, we look away. We look around. Exactly. So they felt like they couldn't get the real Pilar because of your glasses. Okay, okay, okay. I get what they were saying. <laughs> and, you know, people were upset with you, too. <laughs> they you know, said, how she get interview? She don't even rap. What does she do? Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> My thing is, when people are putting things out, with, like documentaries and such... I believe everybody deserves to tell their side of the story. Exactly. And, you know, those are crazy allegations. I don't know if they true or false. I don't know you from a can of paint. You seem cool. You know, I'll, I'll never I'll never be with you in a city because I don't know, you know, but you seem cool, but I can't judge you. Right. All I can do is hear your side of the story. So a lot of people were upset with me, man, and, you know, they were not really threatening me, but... Claiming they would stop supporting me and things like that. But mm -hmm. like I said, everybody has something that's said about them. And I feel like everybody should have um, a platform to speak. Right. What were people saying on your end? Man, they on the Philly school part, they was wilding. They're like, why does she why does she have so much input or so much say so? Like, what does she do? Like, they hated it. Like. They hated it, but I got a lot of love too. Like the ones that fuck with me, they like, yeah, Laura, you on or something? They like drop some music. They want me to drop some music. That's so. That's what I've been doing. I've been in the studio. I got studio session after this. Okay, you know my family. I got family all through Philly, uh, and my family was calling me like, man, how you in? <laughs> like, how you get in contact with her? Why did you interview her? I'm like, man, chill. Like this is this is this is my job. Right. So yeah, you definitely a figure uh, in your city, man. I, I just want you to just stay safe, man, because no, for sure, nobody's untouchable. No, nobody's never, untouchable. I don't never think that, like, at all. Well, in our last interview, you did say that you did you kind of popped your shit a little bit, and no, you said that. No, I did that, pop my shit, but I never said I was untouchable. Okay, so two weeks ago, you're in a hookah bar with what four four of your friends. A friend that I thought was my friend. <laughs> okay, so you weren't with four different people like the like the audio was saying. No. So take us through that night. Okay, so I usually go out. I go to that bar all the time, like on a Tuesday for two dollar Tuesday. But I won't go like every week because I know like a motherfucker probably will be expecting me there. Like, so I did go that week though, but I went with my friend, and we were just vibing, kicking it, cooling. But mind you, I'm already always on my P's and Q's. Like, I seen one of the three girls walk in, but I was on them. I'm like, okay, whatever. But then, like, once my friend hugged one of them, it kind of, like, comforted me. I'm like, all right, maybe she know these girls, so, like, we cool. Next thing you know, like, I was just fucked up. I was having a good time, fucked up. We all fucked up. My friend, like, oh, I got to go to the bathroom. I got to change my head. Hmm. She, like, walked me to the bathroom. I'm like, no, I'm going to sit right here. So she get up and leave. I lied to you not. She wasn't even in the bear from like not even fucking five minutes. The girl picked up her hookah and hit me with it. So I'm like, 
I was clueless. So I, when I got up, I'm like, who the fuck hit me? Like, when I tell you she was going that fast, like, she was going that fast. She took my wig, took my phone, and I had like, I had stitches in my shoulder. I just got them out today. I had stitches in my shoulder, three stitches in my hand, and she ain't even do no damage to my head. Like, what made you think your friend set you up? Because it's like, I try to give her the benefit of the doubt, but then it's like, once I seen the video and her body language, and like how she walked up, like a real friend would have been like, yo, who did this to my friend? Where my friend shit at? When I tell you, she was just like, like, oh shit, like clueless as shit. Like, girl, be for real. And then when I'm telling her who hit me, she all acting clueless. Like you knew the girl, you hugged the girl. Like stop being stupid. So then she all like, oh, I didn't think nothing of it. Da -da -da -da. That was there. I just cut her off. She's cut. Like she's done. I ain't she didn't say. try to fight. She didn't try to fight none of the three girls. No, they were going. Mm. By the time she came out the bathroom, they were going. I was mm. on the floor. Okay. She's done. You, I ain't gonna say too much on camera, but they run. <laughs> was was the was it hot when it hit your head? Was it hot? The hookah? Mm -mm. Was it hot? Mm mm. I just felt like the glass break, and I'm like, what the? F I'm like, I got hit in the head with a glass bottle. To be honest, I ain't even know it was a hookah. Like until I woke up, and everybody like, bitch, you got hit in the head with a hookah. <laughs> Stole your phone, stole your 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 wig. Yes. I don't get it. What? Why a wig? Is it, is it worth something? <laughs> they must have liked it, the style because they clearly took it. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then I got a whole new another wig. And like it's nothing. How long were you out? I seen you on the ground. How long were you on the ground for? How long? I don't know fucking that. So you was you was dazed a little bit. You was out I of was there. like, I know I, it couldn't have been that long because like I remember me getting in the ambulance and shit, like. Yeah, so basically they came just for you. Got what yeah, they wanted and they yeah, left. Yeah, like yeah. Then they want to play tag with my phone. I'm tracking their phone, pulling up on blocks. They want to do all this extra shit. I'm like, you know what? Y'all broke. Y'all can keep the phone. And I did. New phone. <laughs> What are people in there? What's what's the reaction inside the, the club? Man, when I tell you, like, everybody was just, like, all over the place. To be honest, they didn't even give a fuck for real, for real. They played the music while I was passed out. I'm laughing at them, but they, they ain't shit. <laughs> they literally stopped playing the music. They stopped the music once it happened. But then I ain't even get a chance to get the fuck out. They playing the music again. Club still rolling. <laughs> At Yo, this point, seen, I'm coming out with a hookah flavor. I seen that. I was just about to say that. So that shit online with the hookah flavor, that, that's you. That's you that said that. Yeah, that's me that said that. Out of my own mouth. <laughs> I'm going to come out with what? a hookah flavor. Strawberry Mr. Passion Fruit. I bet you they're going to smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> so the city was going crazy. You know, online, I man, seen that shit. Everybody bad. was sending that shit to me, man. <laughs> they been trolling me real bad. Like, but I don't play that. Don't mind, like I really don't. It happens, I, I, like that can happen to anybody. Mm -hmm. It probably is my karma for but I'll be talking. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, you handled that like a champ because a lot of people will run from it, and that's why I told you in the last interview I think you're a star because all the things you go against, you troll it. You don't run from your problems. You don't. At all. You don't. You 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 troll every. You, you're you're really like a troll. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> and. A lot of people, they will let that affect their confidence. Um, they will. A lot of people will fold, but you, you just laugh at yourself. And what could, people can't really hate you for too long when you start to laugh at your own jokes. Exactly, because I, I honestly like, I genuinely don't give a f like. <laughs> like that should happen. She gonna get what she gonna get, and that's just it. Like <laughs> you with your stature, you know people want to kill you. You know people hate you. And I'm not talking about just females. Like, I see guys say certain things about you. Why are you out at a nightclub in Philly? Listen, I never ever, you know, I never had an altercation. Like, that was my first, like, everything that ever happened to me. Like, I always go out, but I be out with niggas. Like, so it was like, that one time I step out with that one friend. Mind you, I don't even go out with her to be on some real shit. She just was that friend that, like, I hang with sometimes. Like, I be with boys, so boom, I go out with her. <laughs> I get hit with a fucking hookah. <laughs> Yo, so that wasn't the first... Because I seen two two months ago, you, you kind of 
said that somebody tried to line you up. Is that the first time, like, when you that were in a sticky wasn't situation? Like, I want to say that wasn't really, like, an altercation because, like, it was just words, like, just words said, like, it wasn't really nothing. I wouldn't see, I wouldn't say that was, that, what just happened, that was a fucking altercation. <laughs> yeah. So, but people tried to line you up before and you caught it. Yeah. I ain't gonna say no names, but them niggas know. Was, was it life threatening? Yeah. But it's like, I was so fucked up. I ain't even care at that point, like on some real shit. Like, I just thought about it once I was sober. Like, damn. Was this a situation where you was at like at an event? It wasn't an event. It was just a record club. Yeah, man. You you got kids, man. You can't be going out and no. I ain't gonna lie. That's hood shit. Philly hood shit is brunts. Like that shit is you brunts. got you you got kids. How many kids you got? Three. Yeah, I got three. You got three kids. You know, you starting to get a crazy. Well, you already got a buzz, but you you starting to find your passion. You starting to you know really touch some money. Mm -hmm. You got to sacrifice some shit, man. If you want to be, if you want to go to that next level and provide for your kids, you got to sacrifice that shit. Thanks. Like, and I know you like to drink and smoke or whatever. I don't really know what you do. You say you was fucked up, but it's like you could do that at home, right? Why you got to go? I out always to do know. That? I ain't gonna lie. I do that at home, like a lot. Like, I barely go out. So when I do go out, everybody be like, oh, shit, we're outside. It's like, yeah, when I do go out, I pop out. Like, I'm not scared to go outside. But now, after what just happened, now I got to really move, like, a little stick and move a little different now. Like, because that shit. And happen. you don't know, and you don't know why. You don't know why that happened. Oh, I know the girl, yeah. I know, yeah. I know exactly why. Like, remember about that missing boy that went missing? That boy, David, that went missing in our city? It was that a was kid? He wasn't a kid. He was going as me. But oh, okay. that was his sisters that did it. Like, they felt some type of way. Mind you, they asked for my platform first to post about him being missing. And then once motherfuckers started DMing me, like, don't trust them. They the ones who did this to their brother. Da, 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 da. Then when we do the search party, they come to the search party, beating up smokers, like, all this crazy shit. Like, doing all this shit that make it feel like, like they guilty. So everybody start stop with them. And then they put that shit on me. They tell me I traumatized their family. I did that. This and the third. I'm like, y'all did this to yourself. So basically, they, they wanted you to post. They wanted yeah, you to post something on, on your me. platform. Like, they wanted me to post something missing. And then once I started like really digging in and getting the details of what really was going on, they all like, bitch, stop talking about my brother. Da -da 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 -da. Like They really was like trying to fight people. They actually beat up a smoker because he was saying too much information. Damn. So, did they did, did they ever find him? The smoker? No, the uh, the, the No, David. he's been missing still to the, for a whole year now. Like this happened a Damn. year ago, so them, them them bitches they got me. They got me good. Ah man, Pilar, Pilar, Pilar. Uh <laughs> Gunna has been released from jail and uh he's getting a lot of flack. You know, a lot of people are calling him a rat. Um, you know, for accepting his plea deal, you still listening to his to his music? I don't listen to him. <laughs> like I don't even listen to Young Thug on some real shit. <laughs> I don't listen to none of them niggas. Who do you listen to? I listen to like Lil Dirt, Future, Drake, niggas from my city. I listen to a lot of people, but not them. I do yeah, think I, heard, I do think he shouldn't have took that plea deal with us. You think he like, should have? Huh? You think he should have? He shouldn't have. Okay. Because it's like, bro, you basically said it was thug. Like, cause they said it was y'all two in the car. You put it on him. That's telling. Like, he said, yes, ma'am. And he admitted that YSL was a gang. Yeah, like what? I don't like that. Cause Young Thug whole argument was that they're a label and not a game. So why would you say that? <laughs> so that's, you, you basically like saying that's ratting. Yeah. He's a rat. Boston Richie's a rat. <laughs> and that was my favorite rapper. <laughs> I, I heard you I heard you listening to him on your live one day. What? That's really my guy. I was say. I said, no, I gotta see the paperwork. They really showed me the paperwork. 
Because Boston Richie really talks about tricking. So a lot of women really don't care about. Well, I'm a street bitch. I don't. I'm not a trick. <laughs> so I care about that type shit. Cause them, them the type of niggas I kind of I like. Like. Yeah, man. And and they're saying he told twice. He did. <laughs> I see that shit. I said no. I might still play him. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Um. He's no longer on Future's tour. Yep. I seen uh, that yesterday. I said, damn. Man. They make this telling shit. And then once he know that he told, he straight pulled out money. Like, what? I got money. Bro, <laughs> that ain't thorough. <laughs> told on a homicide. <laughs> I mean, when I get my foot in these doors, just keep me away from this sucking shit. <laughs> Real shit. You know, the, I, know, I know you want to get in the rap game. Mm -hmm. The rap game is really tricky. It's really dangerous. Like 20 rappers got killed last year. You know, you got to move different. For sure, for sure. No, I ain't going to lie. That made me tighten up because don't shit like that happened to me. <laughs> but it happened, and it ain't going to happen again. Tory Lanez locked up. They found him guilty for all three counts of shooting Megan Thee Stallion in the foot. I don't think he did that. I think it was Kelsey to be on some real shit. It was that lady. It was that girl. <laughs> She got away when she got the immunity. What makes you think she did it? Coming from a because coming from a woman, what makes you think she did it? Like me, like getting into the case, I just feel like she did it because like the whole argument makes sense. Like he was fighting over Tory. The neighbors said he's seen the girl. Like it all makes sense. Like then it said another woman fingerprints. Where's the other woman? Her. Mm. <laughs> like, I don't think Tori did that shit. I don't think he should be in jail right now. So yeah, there was no DNA. Y'all might hate me for that, but. There was no DNA on the gun. Um, the witness said that a woman was shooting. He saw a woman shooting first. Um, then when she got on the stand. On some real shit, Tori had a dumbass lawyer. <laughs> like, his lawyer you, think, you, think, you think Tori should have took the stand? Yes. That would have made it better. His lawyer is dumb as fuck. Then you talking about you don't do appeals. Bro, your ass. <laughs> like, that girl Kelsey did that shit. I for sure she did. Yeah, when he was found guilty, uh, Tory Lane's dad ran outside, blame Jay-Z, blame <laughs> Rock Nation. Uh, That's delusional. Now basically just blame, saying- Now I just blame Jay-Z and then. What? What do they have to do with it? <laughs> Yeah, nah. See, basically, he was saying that Rock Nation of wanted them? to sign Tory Lanez, and because they didn't sign, because Tory Lanez didn't want to sign the Rock Nation, Rock Nation paid off the jury and shit like that, allegedly. Bullshit. Bullshit. Like it is what it is. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, everybody, it's... motherfuckers, that's not guilty go to jail every day. Like, but I don't think he did that shit. Yeah, it started a whole divide between men and women. It was it started a whole war. It did. But me personally, I don't be giving a fuck. I'm gonna say what I want. Now Philly, man, 2022, very very rough year. Over 500 murders. It's they still going. Like four niggas just died at one night in the Northeast, like three days ago. What do you think? could cut down the murders in Philly. If you was the mayor, what would Pilar do? Want some real shit? If I was the mayor, I mean, it's like, these motherfuckers go do what they want, to be honest. But I would like try to increase like the gang, like the gang rate, like the rate with the whole smoking on this, smoking on that. Like that's what's really like, keep these niggas going. Like, once they hear you smoking on their ass, oh, what's up? They coming to find you. Mm. So it was like, I would kind of change that narrative. Because I don't like that narrative. Because a lot of my homies done died. Like, so I don't like that narrative. Like, yeah, I listen to niggas. But that narrative definitely need to change. So you blame the rap You blame the rap music on I Philly murders. I blame the drill music. The drill music. It's the drill music. All that and dissing then, the and, the social, and Instagram and social media. I blame that too. 
So yeah. with Russia, I'll take away all that shit. <laughs> Yeah, because you know now on social media, you have a disagreement with somebody. It's up. It's Y'all up. can't even have a disagreement. Where was it? They, you going to die? Through, like, why? <laughs> I'm just stating an opinion. Like with me, when my fuckers come fucking with me, then when I say shit, it's, oh, I want to fight. Why do you want to fight me? Because y'all keep fucking with me. Like, be for real. It don't make no sense. Like, the internet shit is beyond me. I'm too real for the internet. I just be on there for the entertainment. <laughs> Yeah. You don't think the Philly curfew, you don't think that will help? They ain't gonna go to the house. <laughs> they just tried that shit already. These kids, these it's be the parents. Like these parents they got no control over their kids. This new generation is fucked. As long yeah. as I'm raising my kids right, I'm cool with it. Your oldest kid is what, eight? Mm-hmm. You let them listen to any of that type of music? I'm about to actually take them to DD or sign my concert. <laughs> my kids like what they like. Do you hear them listening to that type of music? Mm-hmm. They like to get sturdy. Mm. You do you blame yourself for that? Or do you feel like no, no. matter what, they're gonna find I don't listen to it. them. So I don't know where they got that. I don't mm. listen to them. They got that shit from TikTok. <laughs> yeah. I blame TikTok. Cause them New York drill rappers, they actually annoying. What else you think could lower the the, the murders in, in Philly? I mean, that's about it. Cause then you got the domestic violence going on. Like, you can't control a person's mind. So that's just that. Other than that, that's the only thing. Yo, so I'm just curious, right? Where did you and Lee Ford have some type of like weird? I don't want to say beef, cause it ain't that. It deep. ain't. But what, like, y'all have a weird relationship, a love-hate relationship. Point blank, period. <laughs> Let me just dip into the wet right here. The nigga in love with me. That's all. <laughs> y'all got any past history that you know? <laughs> past history? Nigga gonna leave it as that. <laughs> but he ain't come up off it, so clearly. Like... My cousin is his friend, like, so my cousin be always, y'all need to stop, if it be him, he be fucking with me. <laughs> then when I get on his ass, he be like, you better stop. Da-da-da-da. Like, no, bro, chill out. <laughs> yeah, he mentioned your your name in one of them songs. He said you were, what, what'd he say, what'd he call he you a curse? I don't know why he made that song, like, to this day, I don't know why he made that song, like, <laughs> he's crazy. Then he was just hey, talking. Then we were just going at it again because he wouldn't be talking shit on Twitter about the hookah situation. Mm-hmm. I ain't even gonna get I on him. That. I ain't even gonna get on him. But <laughs> but yeah, he knows what's up. Yeah, I seen that. Uh, I mean, when I see him, I'm slap him. <laughs> I mean, he's one of the he's one of the hottest rappers in Philly right now. Yeah. Uh, so you know, when when you you should get him on a feature. Do some shit like uh, Money Bag and uh and Glorilla and go back and forth talk y'all shit. That would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> I think that would be cool. That'd, yeah, because I'm gonna go right at him. <laughs> <laughs> and I heard you freestyle too. You're not bad. Yeah, I'm I'm actually perfecting my phrase. Okay, so you getting better. Yeah. Cause the last three I went to, I ain't like them. So I'm going somewhere else. Now King Von, mm-hmm. Chicago female rapper by the name of Vina. She went viral last week for stepping on King Von's grave. I don't know. Did you see that? It's a picture it's going disrespect. around with her standing on King Von's grave. Where's she from? She's from Chicago. Why she do that? Uh, I think she she's from a, a you know, a, they ops or whatever. <laughs> they gonna kill her. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, going viral online, female rapper. It's, and it's crazy. Me, I interviewed like, her. I'm not doing no weird shit like that. I'm going to leave that shit to the niggas. All right? I'm not doing all that extra shit. Like, the only time I was popping my shit was when my nigga died. And that's because I was grieving. Other than that, that shit is for the niggas. I'm not about to do all that. Because bitches is really dying. <laughs> like, yeah. She's going to die. That's crazy. What, what that's it, disrespectful. What, what advice do you have for her? What would you tell her? Stay in your motherfucking lane, because now you about to get stumped on. Bitch, how you stepped on the grave, they about to step on you. That was stupid. 
No, that really was. I don't like shit like that. Yeah. Um, and, and I interviewed her eight years ago. Mm -hmm. She was an aspiring artist. She was probably like 14, 15 back then. And now I could just tell the streets took her out, man. Right. Like, totally different person. Okay, okay. So she's like a Lost dyke. a lot of people. Was she a grieving. stud or a dyke? Uh, I think, yeah, I think she may be into girls. Okay. Yeah, I don't like that. She got... Mm -mm. See, I know my lean. <laughs> um, Fredo Bang. He just... Uh... <laughs> he was messing around with a married couple. That's my guy, but he looked like a dyke. And he got both and he got both women pregnant allegedly. Well, she said that that the um first kid not by him, but the second kid they had naturally. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. But he wild. But I mean he gives the he looked like one. So <laughs> Yo, <laughs> no, no say Fredo, because you gonna see this and you my dog. <laughs> but he looked like a stud. You said Fredo Bang looks like a stud? He do. Yo, what what rappers reached out from our interview? Or, or start liking pictures, pictures and shit like that? I don't want to put them on the bus. <laughs> but a lot of motherfuckers did follow me like, Polo G reached out, um, Sleazy followed me. He talk, we talked like, but on some regular shit. Freda, whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> he, a couple he, he of my He got them DMs? Yeah. What, we, we expecting a feature or what? What we what we doing? What y'all doing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to feature with Dirt. That's you want to feature from Dirt? <laughs> um, Jada came out and she said that uh, she prefers hood guys. She said that uh, she prefers somebody who always has a gun on them. Um, street guys, masculine guys. Um, she got a lot of flack from that. She got a lot of backlash from that. A lot of people wasn't well, feeling that. Me and her about to be um, in the same position. <laughs> what you well, say? Well, then we about to be in the same position because I feel I feel her. But me, I also, that's just not my only type neither. So it's like, but that is what I like. You like street guys? Yeah, I like street niggas. They get money. Yeah. Carry guns. I mean, there's a lot of guys who carry guns that ain't street, though. No, I actually know, like, niggas that's into shit. Like, I'm not dealing with no nigga that just carrying it. What you carrying it for? <laughs> like, nobody's after you. There's a lot of guys who get money, who carry guns, and it's with the shit, but they're not in the street. They're not risking their life every day. Mm-hmm. Do you like the excitement? Do you like the... Is it the thrill? I mean, I don't... First of all, I don't even... After my first boyfriend died, like, all that running the street shit, like, don't excite me. Like, I just like what I like, like. <laughs> but I can get past it. Like, I done talked to ball players, football players, niggas that's actually got businesses and shit, like. So, yeah, street niggas not my only thing to go to. Yeah. Yeah, she got a lot of backlash for that. She did, but we like what we like. Like, y'all niggas like what y'all like. Y'all don't like, y'all be, oh, if a bitch don't got an ass or no big titties, I don't want her. You're like, so why do y'all care what we like? <laughs> you ever thought about getting surgery? No. I don't need it. That's how I do all my titties. I'm getting some. <laughs> I think that big. <laughs> Just a little yeah, lift lift. I mean, that's the thing now. I mean, women feel like they got to get, they got to get No, I don't got to get shit. But me, I don't like my titties, so that's what I am going to get. Shit, 2023, man. When are you dropping your first record? I'm dropping my first song next week. You shooting okay. a video to it? I ain't doing no visuals to it yet. I'm finishing up the song tonight in the studio. A lot of people expecting it. A lot of people a asking people. for it. They expect me. They be cursing me out. If you don't hurry up and drop, <laughs> they be like, you playing with this shit. What's, it, what's, the, what's the name of the record? Shit. At first, I was playing with it. Before I even came on Say Cheese and all that, like, I've been rapping, like, but i just been playing with that shit. Yeah. Then I'm about to really put some shit out. 
What's the name of the uh, record? Backdoor. Yo, it's titled Backdoor. Backdoor. I'm coming through. Yeah, you're a marketing. You're a marketing genius, man. You're a marketing genius. The visuals. I ain't gonna tell you the visuals, but what do y'all see it? Man, you gotta have Marlissa, the camera girl right there. You gotta yeah, have I'm her some shit. I like um, I like her and Tay. I've been looking into them. So for sure they're gonna be my go-to. Have people since the interview hit you and tried to get you to do certain things? What? Since you, everybody been trying to interview me, like the A and R and TikTok reached out to me. Like a lot of motherfuckers have reached out to me. But they wanna yeah. hear my music. I'm like, I don't hear my music out yet. <laughs> they gotta be patient with me. Most definitely, man. Pilar, I appreciate it. And uh, we definitely going to run it back again. And you get, you need to stay out them clubs, man, because people people hate you. Listen, I'm going to still be in the club. It's not in Philly. Like, as soon as that shit happened, I took a trip <laughs> to another city. Yeah, you made a tweet that got a lot of people riled up, too. You said, uh, if you want to hit, we got to go on trips. <laughs> no, I was singing a song lyrics. <laughs> That's your lyrics? No, that's fucking, um, she like, if you want to hit, well, I need trips, nigga. Oh, okay, yeah, the guys, guys, guys definitely bit on that. Well, they start going, eh. You also said that you feel like men who are in jail longer than six months, they try some gay shit. They did. I got a gay brother. He be telling me to tell you. They're fucking faggots. No, I oh, wait, wait. I want to say free my guy Sue. That's all. Free Navy Sue. Holding this shit down for you. Period. Yo, before we get out of here, I know, I know, I keep saying that. Um, uh, but uh, the Philly gangs, man, O to the four. I believe it's YBC. Um, it's few of them. It's a lot of them. Yeah, it's a lot of them. But uh. Basically, you know, the FBI came out and was like, man, we we coming. We coming. Uh, we're tired of the music. They we're tired of the murders that's going on. No, they really They're coming. Because, <laughs> like, my folks is, like, in the indictment. They coming. Do you feel like any of these crews hate you? No. <laughs> no. Like, I've been around. You don't fit, you don't... I've been around all these niggas. From YBC. To the zoo game, to P and B, to them nine side niggas. Yeah. That be the internet. That be the internet talking like niggas really fuck with me. That be the internet. Is that why you, your name is so much in the mix? Is that you're dealing with so many people who are beefing and they think that you're the one that's really making shit. Child, can't not one nigga in none of these groups say, yeah, Laura lined up shit. I'm heavy on a thorough tip. That's it. That's it, that's all. <laughs> People's crazy. Yeah. I seen um who just got locked up, like four of them. Was that O to the four? I don't know them niggas. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I seen that shit on O to the four? But who the fuck is that? I'm trying to figure out who that is <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's too many names. Like niggas wanna be like Chicago too much. You think you think Philly's influenced by Chicago? Real bad. 